Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've gotten myself a huge ass pumpkin and a wireless microphone from Taobao. This is no ordinary wireless microphone. This only costs $17. Although I can't give you the brand of it because it doesn't have one. It's just called professional wireless recording microphone. <laughs> I've been wanting to get myself one of these wireless microphones for the longest time because every time when I'm out recording, my Rode microphone, which is what's on now, always picks up a lot of background noise. But the hills and mountains are very pretty, you can see it on the back. And because the Rode microphone is fixed onto the camera, I can't go too far whenever I'm recording, so I'm always confined to a certain distance. But now that I've gotten this baby, I'm hoping things will get better. One thing that's not getting better, is the weather here in Beijing. <sighs> Let's get into it. The wireless microphone includes a transmitter, a receiver, an audio jack, another audio jack, charging cables, and a dead cat. For the Rode microphone, you have an audio jack, the microphone, another audio jack, the mount, and the dead cat. Now, I'm a bit skeptical when it comes to having two tiny little things. I mean like the Apple ear pod, cause what happens if you lose one of it? And you will! But let's get down to the technical side of things. First off, let's talk about portability. The wireless microphone is so slim and so small that it even manages to make my baby hands look big. Amazing. Although one thing I do have to point out is that this feels very plasticky. I don't know if you can hear it, but it feels very hollow and it just doesn't feel very sturdy like the buttons and the entire case just, yeah, it just doesn't feel right. But because of that, this is extremely light. Whereas the Rode microphone on the other hand looks and feels a lot sturdier. But despite how it looks, it's actually super light. Both of these microphones are extremely easy to use, especially the Rode microphone, which is what I'm using now. Because all you need to do for this is to mount it onto the camera and then penetrate it into the audio input and you're good to go. The Rode microphone doesn't have an on and off button, so you don't have to worry about if your mic is turned on during a recording. It also doesn't have a volume control, so you just have to set it within the camera itself. Now for the wireless, it's a bit different. There are two components to it the transmitter and the receiver. The transmitter is basically like your speaker, the one that you speak into, you know. And then the receiver, which is connected to your camera, receives the data and puts it in the camera. Easy, right? Let's talk about battery life. The Rode microphone doesn't have an internal battery. Its life solely depends on the camera. So if your camera runs out of battery, it shuts down along with the microphone. Simple. This not only makes the microphone lighter, but I also don't have to worry about battery life. But for the wireless microphones, there is definitely going to be an on-off button, for obvious reasons. And there will definitely be an internal battery inside. Except this model doesn't indicate the battery life. Holy shit. Which means that I'll never know when it's going to run out of battery. <laughs> Exciting. So based on the manual, it claims that the battery is 6 hours for the first time, but for subsequent use, it will be 3 hours. What? So on the third time, it's going to be 1.5 hours? <gasps> Damn! No wonder we're good at math. But I say let's give these budget babies a chance, and we'll see how they fare in an audio test. Alright Houston, we have takeoff. Let's see if the volume control works. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello? The audio bar doesn't seem like it's changing. I'm increasing it now. Hello, hello. I'm gonna decrease it now. Hello, hello, hello. Professional. I wonder what does it mean? Let's test out the difference. I'm currently using the Rode microphone. All right, let's give this a go. God damn it, the snow. Ah. Testing, testing, one, two. How about now? I think it's pretty obvious that the Rode microphone produces a far superior audio quality, but it also picks up a lot of the surroundings. The wireless mic on the other hand, it cancels a lot of the background, but also my voice. On the bright side though, distance won't be a problem. All right, so I'm currently at the corner of my room, which has the highest level of reverb and echo. And yeah, this is it. This is how it sounds like with the Rode microphone. We'll see how it fare against the wireless mic. It's also good that someone is doing a renovation up above, so we can test how it sounds like with additional noise. I'm back. Okay, I've got the wireless microphone set up and ready to go. How does it sound? Does the echo still affect it a lot? Is it still picking up a lot of reverb? Yes? No? Guess we'll find out. But you know, the main reason that I got this wireless microphone, it's so that it reduces a lot of background noises and interference when I'm out recording. So where better to test this out than at a restaurant? Uh, but apparently, it's not very packed today. Uh, I'm currently recording with the Rode mic. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure it's picking up a lot of the background noise and it's interrupting my sexy voice. And we've got some sick looking skewers here. Let's try the lamp. Don't really dig that piece of fat in the middle, but it's pretty good. Okay, now I have the wireless mic on. How do we sound? Can you hear my sexy voice clearer? Or is it not as good? Is it still picking up a lot of background noise? The beef is a bit lean and very dark, so the lighting doesn't do justice to it. But let's give it a go. Wow. It's a lot more tender compared to the lamb. So it's safe to say this $17 was money not well spent. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and stay. Oh, am I recording? So thirsty.